All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we are here on some Need for Speed 2015 the belt to tune and modify a Camaro Z28. Now, this is a car that we haven't actually taken a look at at all. I was looking through a bunch of my previous builds and uh, I was looking at what can we actually go ahead and build in this game. So, I saw this. We haven't actually gotten a chance to Look at the Z28 in this game just yet, so I thought we could give it a shot. So let's see how much power you can squeeze out of this, first of all. And also, what can we do to it visually? Because that is obviously a massive thing. So, so far, you can do a couple of things to it. No front bumper, no side skirts, no arches, um, no rear bumper. I don't know. That doesn't seem like we can do a lot of stuff. Anyway, let's go check out the body kit, first of all. Um... Hmm, I'm gonna buy this just for a second. It kind of looks pretty good, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the rear as well, see what this looks like. So, it hasn't really changed too much, it's just basically the wider arches. I kind of like that. I'm gonna put that on. And I really, really like the carbon fiber front lip, so I'm actually kind of a big fan of that. So, let's go ahead. See what else is here. We got the taped head The intake. Honestly, I think it looks fucking sick. Having the one headlight, we have the intake. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I think I'm gonna keep that for now. Um, so arches again, can't change anything. Uh, Counters are definitely restricted. The hood. Let's check out the hood, actually. Let's see. Street style, nah, not too much. Meh, that's average. That concept hood actually looks pretty good, but I think the original one still looks the best, in my opinion. So I'm gonna keep the, the original one there. Let's see what else. The mirrors. We got the Fender mirrors and then the Street Style mirrors. Not a big fan of any of them, actually. I'm going to keep the standard mirrors on again for that. At the front, we can't really change anything else now. I think that's pretty much it with the front. Uh, let's have a look here with the rear. No taillights. We can change the wing. We can change the license plate. So let's go ahead and do that while we're here. Not entirely sure what sort of... Um, not entirely sure what... <laughs> not Rocket Bunny. That's still one of my favorite ones. Um, let's have a look here. What else? We can change the background to some... Um, let's see. Should we go to... Rockport? This is pretty much the one that we have on, though. Isn't it? California, Fairhaven. I think we should go with some Fairhaven. Fairhaven looks alright for now. And I go... F I don't know. What What should I name this? Because I, I always have trouble like figuring out stuff to name this. Anyway. Alright. It's power! <laughs> Alright, that's, that's fine enough with me. Um, the fuels, we can't do much there. Rear wheels, of course. Uh, and we have the exhaust. Let's see what exhaust we have on this thing. I'm actually kind of liking the dual tip exhaust. Um, mm, not a big fan of that. Actually, these tilted ones actually don't look that bad. Never a big fan of the carbon fiber ones. To be honest. But I kind of like the tilted ones. They look pretty good. They, they look aftermarket. That's kind of why... I want to put them on uh, you know, the sound system, which I'm not going to bother with. Wing. Um, that actually looks pretty good. Uh, what else is here? Massive, massive wings. That is probably my favorite one right now. The ducktail style. That looks pretty goddamn awesome, actually. Yeah, that looks pretty fucking good. I'm I'm digging the, the way this Camaro looks right now. All right, so for the wheels now, let's go ahead and figure out something that we can add on this. That actually looks good. Alright, so for the rear, I decided to go with the Workmeister M1s because they have a shit ton of dish. And I think it looks pretty good. And then for the front, I decided to go with something different. And I changed these to the uh, to the Cosm Cosmos XT206Rs. So, I wanted to do something like different. I don't I didn't want the front and the rear rims to be the exact same. So, I did that. And uh, for the primary paint, actually, we'll mess around with that. Once we finish off, now for the tires in the front, I'm down to have, let me see here, um, I'm not sure if I want to have stretch tires actually, so I think I might just go around with some regulars, uh, let's see here, um, I actually think on the front, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna leave, uh, I'm gonna go with the standard, standard need for speed ones, so just the regular ones, and then for the rear, I'm actually gonna uh, let's have a look here. First of all, let's go into this. Uh, so I'm not getting stretched. Uh, idlers regular. Actually, that kind of looks pretty good. So I'm going to go with that because the text is kind of big. So it looks good. Uh, now for the calipers, I'm digging the Brembos. I don't really want to change those. Maybe for the brake discs, if we want to change anything else. Forge grooved. Um, 
Let's see. Strider cross drill. Actually, they look pretty good. So let's go with the cross drilled ones on the front and the rear. So let's go to brake discs. And uh, there we go. All right, cool. So now, so far, I think this looks pretty good. Now we're going to obviously have to change the design on it. And then obviously, one main thing that we forgot to do is change the actual stance of the car. So bring that out a little bit. I'm actually going to turn this into a drift car right now. This is going to be... It's going to be interesting as a drift car. We'll see how this thing drives like. Uh, let's have a look here. Track with it at the front. I'm going to bring that out even more. That looks pretty good, actually. That that honestly does look pretty good. So since we're turning this to a drift car, I think that uh, we need a decent a decent design for it. So let's go ahead. Hop into the paint and library shop. and uh, Or paint and wrap library. And see what we can do to this thing. Who oh, I immediately love this one. Look how simple it is! Oh my god, I'm gonna add this on just immediately. I wanna see what this looks like. And then we can get some, uh, some black wheels or, like, white wheels or something like, I don't know, something... We Actually, this looks pretty good because the whole design of the car is literally just the black carbon fiber and the white. And then we have, like, the little extra designs, the Hoonigan, the, the hood looks pretty good. Oh my god, this, uh, this honestly is... Really fucking sick looking. Holy shit. I did not expect the very first one to be this good looking for the Camaro. I like that a lot, actually. I think I'm going to stick with that. I know there could be probably a lot more um, a lot more um, designs out there. But for right now, I think I'm fine with that. I think I'm going to leave the... Can I... Wait. What? No, 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 no. How do I change these so it's like a proper white? Uh, saturation's on zero, brightness, smoothness, bring the smoothness down, there we go. And the metallic, bring them, bring that down a little bit as well, so now, yeah, give it a clear coat and make that white. Now for the rear wheels, we're gonna paint these black. So now, let's go over here, paint them black. Ooh, yes, actually, and let's go to a nice glossy black as well, so apply to rear wheels. And that is pretty much what our car is going to look like for today. Honestly, it looks pretty dope. I think it looks pretty good. The white and black, just for the whole design of the car, it looks pretty fucking sick. So, now, next thing. Performance customization. Let's go ahead and pretty much max this thing out. Because why not? We are uh, gonna see... I haven't built a car for drifting in this game in actually quite a while. To be completely honest, because we've been uh, testing out the drag races, we've been testing out a bunch of other stuff. If you guys remember, um, so we didn't really have a lot to check out in this game for for drifting, because you know all the new content kept coming out. We had all the new cars. Um, I definitely knew that this was going to go over a thousand horsepower. I didn't know that this was going to just absolutely fly over it with. <laughs> with this much over it. 1,279 horsepower. Not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that, that much horsepower. Honestly, I think I might just take it off again. This is time refill, by the way. So let's go to action refill since we're turning this into a drift car. Uh, so diff, pretty much everything, we're going to bring this up. Tires, I'm going to keep this at... I'm going to keep this at S plus drift tires. Uh, let's have a look here. Brakes, e-brake... Honestly, I, like I said, I just wanted to, to see how much horsepower I can squeeze out of this thing. But right now, I think it's time for us to bring it down a little bit. So I think the engine block is a pretty good one. This is going to reduce the horsepower by quite a lot. Cams. I'm going to bring this down to around 800 horsepower. I think 800 horsepower is, is perfectly fine. So let's have a look here and just detune this. I know this is kind of weird, but... Honestly, cars that are fully maxed out aren't always better, so... Bringing this down to around 8... 827. Fuck it. 827 is perfectly fine. 310 kilometers an hour top speed, 827 horsepower. I think we should be good to go with this car. Like, I, I don't want to max this thing out, because I know every single time I max a car out for drifting, it doesn't always do well. So I'm going to bring the... everything down to about one notch off the end for drifting. Uh, let's have a look here at what else we're going to end up doing. Spring stiffness. Let's stiffen that up a little bit. Sway bars as well. Uh, nitrous, I'm going to bring this up towards power a little bit more. Manual gears are on. We'll see what that's like. And I think we're pretty much good to go with the Camaro. So let's take this out. 
Let's drive it, test it out, see what it's like, and yeah. I'll see you guys once I find an event. Alright, well, if you guys have been here for a while, you guys know where we are. Let's go ahead and give this event a shot. Now, this is actually probably the second time I've actually tried this event with manual. So it's gonna be interesting. Let's see what this drives like. Ooh. Ooh, shit, this is pretty good. How do I change my view again? There we go. Oh, it's left. This is pretty good, actually. Especially with manual, it has like... Whoa, okay. This is honestly very, very easy to control. I don't know... I don't remember if anybody's actually... If anybody's actually told me about this car. To modify or anything, but... Honestly, they probably did, and I just wasn't paying attention, but... No joke, this is actually very good. It's so easy to, uh, to control the slide. I just feel like the camera is a little bit too high. I'm not entirely sure why. It does the same thing as the RX-7, the MX-5, and a couple of the Skylines. Where you extend your slide a little bit. Um, yeah, this thing is dope! Holy shit. Why are you crashing game? Oh my god! Why does this happen? Fucking need for speed, dude. Alright, well that's the one massive reason why I don't like playing this game. It's literally just because of crashes. So anyway, we're back. We got... I forgot how to change my view once again. Uh, we're back. Same race. Let's have a look here. I'm just screwing up this race, I'm... I'm wall tapping everything. Thing's a beast though. This thing is honestly a beast. This thing just cleans up house. I like it a lot. I like it, I like it, I like it. I'm still screwing up some of these corners though, but... The car itself is honestly very, very good. Did not expect this from a Camaro. Okay, thank you, brake assist, I appreciate you. <laughs> it has no power gun appeal. Should've just used my NOS. I don't know what I was thinking. Like I said, I'm screwing up right now. Having to restart the game kind of pissed me off a little bit, but... It's fine. It's just a video game. No need to, uh... Oh, okay. I'm trying to pay attention so I kind of get like a decent amount of points so I don't look like a retard throughout this whole event. But, honestly, like, I'm really, really liking this. Not sure if I've ever tried this before, this Camaro in this game. Like, even without, like, building it. I don't think I've ever tried this Camaro in this game. This is definitely my first time driving it. It's very good. Very, very good. Highly recommend. I don't know if this would be actually a little bit better with more horsepower or it'll be worse, but... Right now...
with this amount of horsepower, it's fine, fucking tastic. It's very good, very very good. Come, on, you cannot be serious, game. You cannot be serious. I'm fucking done. I'm done. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Me freezing on this game. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with it. Um, if anybody from Ghost is watching, please, like, what am I supposed to do with this? Honestly, I have no idea. It happens almost every single time I hop on this game. And uh, it literally just ruins the fun for me. I'm playing this game. So I'm going to just do this and try to shut down the game. Sometimes it does shut it down. Sometimes it's, it doesn't. I, it's not even doing anything. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I am going to go off. Car overall is very good. If you guys can get this game to work for you and you have this car, like I said, try it out. It's a very good car. Give it a shot, but I'm done with this game for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.